Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover seven different ways to write out and represent multiplication. Whether you're working with basic math facts, multiplying larger numbers, solving algebraic equations, working with formulas, or whatever the case may be, multiplication shows up all throughout math. Being familiar with these representations of multiplication will be beneficial no matter the class, level of math, or goal you are working towards. Whether you're in middle school, high school, college, working on your education as an adult, whatever your situation is, this should be helpful in better understanding the different ways to represent multiplication. Now for all of the examples, I'm going to use nine times four. Let's jump into number one, and I'm going to write nine times four using an X. This is probably the multiplication sign we are most familiar with and introduced to first. So nine times four. Next, we have a dot. So nine times four. The key here is to make sure it doesn't look like a decimal. It should be raised up in between the numbers. This is a good option, along with the other options moving forward, when variables are involved. That way, there isn't any confusion between x's that are variables and x's that are multiplication signs. Up next, we have the use of one set of parentheses. So nine times four. So we have that first factor or number we are multiplying right next to a set of parentheses that contains the next factor or number we are multiplying. A number right next to a set of parentheses means we are multiplying. Going off of that, we can also use two sets of parentheses. So nine times four. Following the parentheses, we have an asterisk. That's the symbol above the eight on a keyboard. So nine times four. Now, honestly, I don't really use this one too much when writing out multiplication problems, but it is something you will see and come across, so it's good to be aware of and keep in mind. Now let's take a look at a couple of ways that involve variables. The first being a number right next to a variable. For example, let's do 9x. This means 9 times x. And it doesn't matter what the variable is. It doesn't have to be an x. It can be any variable. A number next to a variable means multiplication, whether you're solving to see what that variable equals or plugging in a number for that variable. Again, a number next to a variable means multiplication. Lastly, and similar to the last one where we had a number next to a variable, here we have variables next to each other. For example, xy means x times y. Now this goes for any variables. They don't have to be an x and a y. Variables next to each other represent multiplication. And it can even be more than two variables. For example, x, y, z would be x times y times z. So again, variables next to each other represent multiplication. So there you have it. There are seven different ways to write out and represent multiplication. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.